Hi everyone! Today in Math and Logic I have for you logic puzzle with black and white tokens. When solving it, we'll use methods from previous episode, but we'll need more than that to solve it. So here it is. You have a bunch of tokens. Each of them is white on one side and black on the other. Now you sit at a table blindfolded and 11 such tokens are placed in front of you. You are only told that 7 of them are with white up and 4 with black side up. You of course don't know which ones. Your task is to separate those 11 tokens into two piles. So in each pile there is equal number of tokens with black side up. You must use all the tokens and you cannot feel what color is on the side obviously. You have a few seconds before I tell you which other puzzle is related to this one, but it will be just a small hint. Ok, ready for the hint? You need to use the same approach as in six glasses puzzle linked here. Now you can pause the video if you need to, as I will now show you the answer, but this time we'll go step by step towards solution. 3, 2, 1, let's go! The lesson from six glasses puzzle was to look for transformations, to see if some objects in the puzzle can be transformed into another without breaking the rules. This time it's even more obvious, you can simply turn a token and suddenly have different proportions on the table. A hint should be the wording of the puzzle, equal number of black up tokens, not two in each pile. And after a moment of trying, it's obvious that you simply cannot locate and separate those original four black up tokens blindfolded. And so it immediately follows that you will never know color of any individual token, even when you solve it. But how to separate them? It's good to think this way. Which way would seem special? First you can think about separating them 50-50 because it is intuitively special, but we have odd numbers of tokens here, so that's out of the window immediately. Any other way can be special. 10 and 1, 8 and 3, 7 and 4. Yes, 7 and 4 rings a bell, because there are 7 tokens of one color and 4 of the other, so separating them in these proportions even blindly would be a unique way. So let's go with that and see where it takes us. So now turning. After a bit of trying this or that, same thought returns. You will never know color of any individual token and all tokens are the same for the blindfolded person. So the only sense it makes is to turn all the tokens or none of them, at least in one pile. And so you will quickly notice that if you turn all tokens in the pile of 7, you will end up with equal number of white up tokens in both piles. And accordingly, if you turn all tokens in the pile of 4, you will end up with equal number of black up tokens, regardless of the original setup. See just two examples here. You can check the rest for yourself. So our lesson for today, apart from reminder about looking for transformations, can be this. If you are presented with a few options in a puzzle or in a problem, and you don't know where to start, then start with the one most special or unique of them all and see where it takes you. Oh, and pay attention to the wording of a problem, you can find hints there. And if you want to show it to a friend, this puzzle actually can be set up with regular coins, although you obviously can feel side of a coin a bit. I hope this video not only showed you how to solve one neat logic puzzle, I hope solution path presented here would be helpful with solving other problems you can face. Check out my other videos with logic puzzles and quick mental math tricks and if you like it, you can subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.